guys Ogs here from the us thank you for watching today is the day after the defeat against valencia 1-0 at the bridge i had to drive after the game go somewhere in the nature go away from civilization just to cool myself down a little bit because i didn't want to do this yep i was ready to do what that guy is doing for different reasons the first one was i came back getting ready to watch the game my tv the box the cable and everything not working it's like frozen so i had to abandon the tv project and then jump online look for some links and watch the game in really very crappy conditions watching images somewhere else and trying to get the sound from a different website or you know radio or something it was awful then on top of my miseries this happened yeah you saw it my boy almost got murdered by that guy Coughlin, the ex-arsenal player who came for vengeance because of what eden hazard did to him a few years back just when you think we can rescue something from the game this happened guys i tell you what i was going crazy just like this guy i was ready to destroy everything around me because the tv giving me trouble online links and streaming giving me trouble the game is awful my boy got destroyed by that cockland guy losing the first game at the bridge Barkley missing the penalty the last minute I was going crazy and everything that could move around me was in danger so what I did I had to go somewhere and blow out my steam driving in the nature and cool myself down who can blame me for that that's the right thing to do right <music> All right, enough with my own crap. Let's talk about business. Who's to blame for the defeat at the bridge? Players, Frank Lampard, or the opposition was too strong for us? First of all, I have to give credit to the opposition team. Valencia came up with a plan and they executed the plan we came up with our plan and it was thrown out of the window after 15 minutes. When Mason Mount was injured, the game pretty much was over. That brings me to talk about our manager Frank Lampard, who came up with a very good idea, I thought, at the beginning, because I supported three at the back 100%. And I'm not going to be hypocrite just because we lost and throw Frank Lampard under the bus just like everybody else is doing. Everybody pretty much at the beginning said it was a good idea to go three at the back due to injuries that we have and the opposition we are playing against. 
So if he won this game, he was going to be a genius. But because he lost, he is a bad manager. That's what people are doing. They are flip-flopping according to the result. But me, I am going to assume and continue to support Frank Lampard for the system and the personnel that he started the game with. However, after Mason Mount was injured, I think Frank Lampard made the first mistake by uh, putting on Pedro instead of Christian Pulisic. He went for experience because Pedro won pretty much everything in Europe and he has a lot of experience. But at some point you have to realize that experience is not enough if you have talent you can do better than somebody who get the experience so in that point i would say frank lampard was wrong the second mistake that frank lampard made was taking taking off Zuma and putting Giroud for the profile and for what we wanted to achieve at the time Giroud was the wrong person maybe if Mbachuay was there he was going to provide something different with uh, quick legs and the fox in the, ba in the box he could have done something different than Giroud who is very slow who can score a few goals here and there but at that particular moment with the system we were playing Giroud was the wrong person we saw it Zuma out Giroud on few minutes later we conceded a goal so Frank was wrong for the two reasons that I just said but let's say the overall quality of the team was very poor and if we scored a quick goal it was going to be a different game and everybody was going to call frank genius but just because the quality was not there and we couldn't really score any goal or we couldn't have somebody to take us out of the jail just like Tomori did against uh, Wolves we you know we just were average we lacked that moment of magic that somebody would decide and score that goal to free the space and make the game a little easier anyways everybody's talking about William being good and all that he was the best man and all that but for me he was just William you know some moment of brilliance and sometimes you know it was like so 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 as usual but just because everybody else was so poor that we consider uh, William as a good player and also Aspilicueta many people are convinced that Aspilicueta did great but how many crosses how many times he couldn't even you know pass his man or that it's just because the overall of uh, the team uh very poor so somebody who can do who, who is doing okay will look great but the quality was not there and I'm sorry, man, but William or Aspilicueta, I didn't see anything special about it. No end product. William can do the hardest thing ever. But when it comes to the last pass, the last shot, the last cross, he always fell again and again. And he will do something good once in a while. But everybody's like, yeah, William. He will score one free kick out of 40 or something like that. And everybody will be 
saying all the good stuff about William or about Aspiliqueta, but they are not consistent. They keep failing and failing over and over. And I'm sorry, but I didn't see any anything special about them. Anyways, special mention here. I feel for Tommy. Tommy didn't have any service, and people are saying he's poor. It's your opinion, but I think he didn't get any service. And I feel for Christensen. Awesome defending display today. I feel for Tomori, and I also feel for Jorginho. Jorginho did pretty good. Um, yeah, those are like a three stand out for me today. And uh, I think uh, Ariza Balaga did good, but sometimes just the one time that we need him, he's not there, you know, like he will be there uh, doing absolutely nothing because the, de the defense was great. But just that one shot or that one action that he can maybe anticipate and save us from danger, he's not there but he will improve i feel also for Jorginho, who really commanded the midfield and um, because cover wasn't really in the game it wasn't his game his day today and don't forget that he is from the injury and he's tired anyways guys let me know what you think about the whole game uh against valencia who's to blame and you know nobody is right or wrong here we are just giving opinion but i am giving my opinion based on fact and i don't want to flip flop just because of the result that i have to blame everything on frank lampard or everything on the players thank you for watching god bless you always think outside the box see you in the next one